Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Vasil Lomachenko says, basically, the Jorge Linares fight is not happening next. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations the Venmo donations and the patreon family now hopefully you guys are subscribed to the channel if not hit the subscribe button i did a, a 25 minute roughly 25 minute video about this very subject yesterday and i gave my innermost thoughts regarding it it was golden boy top rank vasil lomachenko jorge lenadas and the hurdles and difficulties in making the fight with those two for next at lightweight and I I, sp I spoke my mind um, I gave both sides the top rank side what they were saying what Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy are saying what the fighters were saying and then I gave my personal opinion and just like I said in that particular video if you watch it if not check that on the channel it's one of the last few videos that I've done it looks like what I was saying came true Lomachenko on his verified Twitter account he says Really wanted the Jorge Linares fight. Too bad Golden Boy won't let it happen. And then he puts a hand over the face emoji, right? And that's his opinion on the fight and why it didn't happen. Um, that's, I mean, from his perspective, he's saying it's Golden Boy's fault. But I told you in the video, I don't, I'm not really quick to believe that because what Oscar De La Hoya at least said publicly, and for the record, you guys. No, I cut. I call it fair, so I don't really have to explain. But I definitely don't agree with everything De La Hoya says. Golden Boy says like they never addressed those racist emails from a correspondent with a company they own, Ring Magazine. De La Hoya sometimes says like Canelo Cota will do three million dollars or hates on the fight with Mayweather McGregor, and then later he'll turn around and say he wants to fight McGregor. So I don't agree with certain things, but I look at it on a case by case basis and tell you how I feel and give you my opinion. What he said in his tweets regarding Jorge Linares, a fighter that works with Golden Boy and Lomachenko, it sounded feasible, but it to me it sounds like top rank does not pursue it. They don't want like they don't it, it just seems like this is too coincidental to always be the pattern. What I mean is, like 50 Cent said, what I mean is every time Top Rank will throw out a plethora of great names for their star fighter. When it was Pacquiao, oh, Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner, Danny Garcia. You guys remember that? They're like, oh, we offered them $4 million and they're making it seem like it's a thing. Or Pacquiao, he's going to fight Amir Khan in Dubai or Pacquiao and Matisse. Yeah. Right. And it sounds great. But each and every time, somehow, some way, those fights don't materialize. And to this day, Pacquiao has never fought a portion of those guys that his name has been linked to at different times. Like Maidana, Matisse, Adrian Broner, Danny Garcia, guys on the other side of the fence, guys who are not with top rank. But instead, what he did fight is people who were with top rank at the time, like Brandon Rios coming off a loss, moving up in weight or a fight with Timothy Bradley a third time that no one was really checking for, or another guy who was with top rank at the time, Jesse Vargas, you know what I mean? And it's just, like I said, it seems too coincidental. Now, in the case of Lomachenko versus Linares, I told you, I have no beef with that fight. It's a great fight. Bob Arum said two names, two names from what I seen in the interview. He said two names for Lomachenko's move to, to lightweight. He says Ray Beltran is fighting in February, which he fought tonight and he's fighting for a title or he mentioned a fight with a guy named Jorge Linares who's not with top rank he's with Golden Boy and Tekken Promotions or something the Japanese promoter right now it's no coincidental like I said it's no coincidence I guess you could say that Ray Beltran he beats his, his opponent it was a it was a tough fight you know what I mean his opponent Moises or whatever the guy's name was was very tough Moses whatever his name was and Beltran wins the title long time coming he's been at it he got robbed a couple of times in some fights like the Ricky Burns is probably most notable broke Ricky Burns's jaw 
and and somehow lost in Ricky Burns' backyard, things like that, right? And then had ups and downs with losing to Terrence Crawford, just different stuff like got busted for PEDs, and then now he's in the title shot, and now he wins a title, and now Lomachenko is, is tweeting, oh, too bad, I really wanted to fight Jorge Linares, tisk tisk golden boy, he's basically saying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not quick to buy that because this seems to be an ongoing pattern with top rank boxing. I, I keep seeing this happen where again Pacquiao is mentioned in the same breath to to fight Amir Khan, which people at the time were like, yeah, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Or sometimes I've even seen stuff like Pacquiao Canelo or something. Like you know that's not gonna happen. But Bob Aaron will say, oh yeah. Pacquiao, it's possible if the money's right, you know what I'm saying? And we know it's not going to happen. So it just seems like another instance of too good to be true and the promoters having a pissing contest. But to be perfectly honest, no matter what side you're on, who you like better or whatever, Golden Boy top rank, from what I seen, Oscar De La Hoya publicly, what he was saying sounded fair. He says, pick any other date but May 12th. Why does it have to be May 12th, right? And he says, if you want it on May 12th, he says, HBO is willing to offer more money than ESPN. So, and it won't conflict with ESPN's replay of a major pay-per-view fight. Their only pay-per-view fight that they have on the books right now, Canelo versus Golovkin 2. So he says, it makes all the sense in the world to have it on HBO. But Bob Arum and, and, and team or whatever top rank is saying no, and they're making it sound like the fight can't happen. So to me, it sounds like more than meets the eye. Bob Arum and Top Rank wants to keep the money in the house. They're probably going to, mark my words, it'll probably be a Top Rank fighter that Lomachenko fights next. And it'll probably be Ray Beltran. You know what I mean? He's now a title holder. So it's a quick way for, um, what's the name, to get a title if he beats Ray Beltran. And the thing is, I watched Ray Beltran's fight tonight. I like to do, respect to do, but off of that performance, that wasn't a star making performance where most people and insiders would be like, oh, he really has a chance to beat, he has a chance to beat Lomachenko. You know what I mean? So it, to me, it's probably going to be another showcase type of event where if Ray Beltran can't land a big shot. And I told you, just so for consistency, I told you I had no problem with the Ray Beltran fight, but it was on, it was contingent on the fact of how he would look in his next fight you know what i'm saying as a fight like stylistically because he had a lot of knock he had, you know what i'm saying he had like three fights with two knockouts in a row but based on that performance i mean lomachenko is definitely going to be the favorite so in that instance i would rather see lomachenko to to prove his medal and pr prove what he's about i would rather see him fight Jorge lenadas a champion who has some different intangibles, like in terms of combination overall boxing, I think is better than Ray Beltran. He's probably a little bit taller and he has some title defenses, beating the Olympic gold medalist in uh, Campbell. He just beat Hesta. Um, he beat, what's his name, Anthony Corolla twice. So that's my thing. I, I always look at the fighters' last couple fights and momentum and stuff, and I would say Jorge Linares, that would be the better of the two fights after seeing Ray Beltran in his performance but now according to Lomachenko's tweet it's not happening next and like I said I, I've noticed this pattern often with top rank where they throw all these names out there like yeah great fights you know what I mean whatever happened to Lomachenko versus Mikey Garcia I understand Mikey Garcia's fight got pushed back to March but what's up with this magical May 12th date why does it have to be May 12th that Lomachenko returns he just fought in December you know what I mean whereas guys like Errol Spence he had a long layoff from in between his Kell Brook fight and his Lamont Peterson fight. Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, they're having long layoffs. Danny Garcia to Brandon Rios and whoever Keith Thurman fights. So it's not, to me, what is, why is Lomachenko have to fight May 12th? You know what I mean? Why not wait a month or two and see if you can negotiate with Mike Garcia? Again, better fights than, than the Ray Beltran fight. But like I said, top rank, they have shown me at least a pattern of wanting to keep fights in-house and do that at all costs. And what Golden Boy said, to be perfectly honest, seems perfectly fair. Seems perfectly fair. They said three options. Don't either don't fight, don't fight us. And he said, hopefully you don't pick that option. Or option one is fight May 12th on HBO 
so it's not competing and conflicting with an HBO telecast of the Canelo versus Golovkin replay, right? Two, pick any other date other than May 12th. You know what I mean? The playoffs are going to be going on. So it's not like it's going to stop after May 12th. So I don't understand, again, like De La Hoya was saying, what's so special about this May 12th date? I, I don't get it. I don't understand what's so important, why it has to be that particular date, especially when they were talking about him coming back in April. So he was flexible enough to, they said he was going to come back in late April, and then they changed that. So if, if, if he doesn't come back May 12th, was a big deal? Wait a little bit longer. Again, now what I see happening is probably Lomachenko's going to move up and fight Ray Beltran. I mean, if he's going to fight Ray Beltran, he could have probably stayed at 130 and fight, fought Mickey Roman or, or more importantly, like a Miguel Bercho. You know what I mean? If you couldn't get a Tank Davis. You know what I mean? And those would have been good fights. So, I mean, people just want to see Lomachenko tested and, and, and fight the best names. And, you know what I mean? Guys coming off good performances. And wins like Berchel just knocked out his dude. Beltran just went the decision with the with the guy that wasn't really known. You know what I'm saying? So I just I see this continually happen when it comes to top rank and, and fights that could happen. Like I said, Mikey Garcia, why is he not in play? If he gets past Sergey Lipinitz, why is he not a person of interest? So to me, it just seems like top rank. They know what they want. They want to make probably like a Ray Beltran or an in-house fight. But I think Lomachenko. Based on the way he's being um, coveted, people are going to want to, they're going to start demanding more. They're going to want to start seeing him in there with the competition where we can really rate him. Not guys moving up two weight classes, not guys who only fought two, three rounds in two years, not older guys, not guys coming off long layup. You know what I'm saying? Different things like that. Again, the Ray Beltran fight, it's not terrible, it's not horrible, but. I think a sturdier fight after watching Ray Beltran's performance would be the Jorge Linares fight. But again, it's always this this pissing contest between promoters. And another thing is what they're probably going to do is HBO, regardless, is going to air Canelo versus Golovkin a week later on regular HBO to get the views for the people who didn't buy the pay-per-view. So most likely, more than likely, I don't remember another time where they had the the next week replay and they didn't pair it with another fight so what's going to happen now is if Lomachenko does fight let's say Ray Beltran on this mythical May 12th date where everything has to happen HBO is going to have a competing card where they have Canelo versus Golovkin 2 replay and you know I mean John Doe versus so-and-so after that on the same night and now boxing fans again are going to be split or they're going to have to watch ESPN to see Ray Beltran and Lomachenko and they're going to have to watch HBO and switch the channels back and forth so you know what I mean this whole cold war and dick measuring contest is, is very old when they could have solved this by having them fight let me know your thoughts drop it in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego son so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing